Welcome back to CAD CAM tutorial. Today we are going to design and assemble a heat exchanger, air condition heat exchanger. We will design each and every part and assemble at the end. So let's see how to do in SOLIDWORKS. Now we will sketch the first part of heat exchanger, pipe 1. So choose top plane, sketch and draw a circle for pipe diameter and keep the diameter 10 mm. Just simply exit from the sketch and choose here front plane, sketch, normal. Select a line and start to draw from this midpoint of circle. Go to upward direction. exit now choose fillet select this end uh, better to little drag it now choose fillet 12.65 mm c selected and select this end also ok now choose smart dimension Select this distance 10 mm, 15 mm, 62 mm. Okay, now our geometry is fully defined. Exit. Select sweep boss base. The pro path is selected now we have to choose profile so select this circle ok now the pipe one part created select the part and uh, we will assign some copper finish material now select this back surface sketch and convert this hole or you can directly draw a circle here it's up to you again exit now this time choose right plane, sketch, normal. Now choose three point arc and draw a one arc. Select line and draw one line. Make sure it is horizontal. Now make relation tangent. Okay. Now assign the radius 12.65 mm and 26 mm the height. Okay. Make sure both the point horizontal. Okay. Now this is fully defined. So just exit and uh, again select the sweep to boss base. Here path selected and choose profile. So select this circle. Now see. OK. Now this is the pipe structure ready. Now we will make it hollow. Choose shell 0 0.5 mm and select both the end of pipe. Now see the pipe. So one pipe. This is our one first pipe one. So we will see how to assemble during as assembly. So save it. Go to desktop. Create one folder. Heat exchanger. And save the name first. Pipe one. Okay, let's move for the pipe 2. Now with the help of pipe 1, I will sketch pipe 2. Everything is same. Just uh, go to sweep boss base 2. 
edit this and make it 48 mm long ok and exit now see this is our pipe 2 now save as part number 2 pipe 2 ok let's move for the next pipe Now we will make pipe number third, copper pipe number three. So choose front plane, sketch, and the pipe diameter is same 10 mm. And select here extruded boss. Choose mid plane. And length I want 291 mm. Okay. We will select shell feature and select both the end 0.5 mm thickness. Okay. Now choose brushed copper. Okay. Now save this as a part number 3, pipe 3. Uh, let's move for the next part. Now the next pipe is C type pipe in 180 degree. So choose first top plane. First sketch the diameter of pipe. 10 mm exit. Now choose front plane, sketch, normal and here we will select, ok let's select 3 point R, take it up and make half circle, that's it, ok, just make connect this two point assign relation tangent now keep the diameter uh, this radius 12.5 mm now exit from the sketch select here swift boss base path is selected just select the profile ok we will choose shell command select both the faces now select the body and assign material brushed copper satin finish is not looking better we will see what other pipes this also better but brush finish is quite better now save as part 4 five. copper pipe C type ok now let's move the another parts fins and uh, other supports Now we are going to sketch the next part is cooling plate. So for that we will first select let's say front plane. Select corner rectangle and draw a one vertical rectangle. Keep height 10 mm uh, 210 mm. forty four mm ok and extrude it up to zero point five mm 
now select this face sketch normal and here I want to sketch some circles so draw two circles define the diameter 10 mm and the distance from top line also 10 mm twelve point five mm and the center gap twenty five mm okay now draw a mid line circle select both the circle and this mid line I think no this relation no need better delete this line and uh, assign eleven mm okay now select extruded cut choose through all okay Now again choose the same face sketch, select both the outer circle and convert it. Now choose offset 0.5 mm, select this circle, this circle, outside 0.5 mm, ok and select extruded boss, extrude up to 4.5 mm you can see it here ok ok now choose linear pattern select this vertical line as a axis 25 mm distance and select this cutout also and uh, make 8 numbers choose ok now see the cooling plate holes are ready uh, we want to make some 0.5 mm ok just drag this up select this edit feature and here select this fillet also ok now the every parts is have is corner radius now select the back surface sketch normal and draw circle keep the diameter 6.2 mm draw a center line connect to this point and find out this main center point of this ok select this line horizontal this line vertical ok the same circle we have to draw, he draw here
6.2 mm and select center line select this center line horizontal and this one it's already ver vertical okay now select extruded cut and here we want to create a hole so choose through all okay now our cooling plate is ready uh, we will assign some material aluminium brushed aluminium or let's go to steel okay this satin finish stainless steel now save as part number 5 cooling plate now here we forget to do something select our first sketch uh, sorry second sketch this whole cut out edit and choose normal here draw a center line from bo bottom circle select center line choose exit now select this line and this line and make relation better select this point and this line and make relation midpoint now select this point and this point vertical delete this relation now again choose this point okay this vertical okay so now it is in center just exit now save it now for ss end plate choose front plane sketch select corner center rectangle okay now define the length and width 210 mm and 44 mm the width choose sheet metal and flange tab choose thickness 0.5 mm k factor keep as 0.5 mm okay now select the same face sketch normal draw two circles here now select both the circle and make relation equal now first design some basic distance 25 mm 10 mm 12.5 mm okay select one center line okay now select this line and this point and make relation vertical now define select one draw one center line from origin point and up to this line now select this line and this point and make one relation midpoint now our geometry is defined it is in center okay now let's assign the diameter keep 10 mm 
ok and select extruded cut choose through all ok select linear pattern select this axis 25 mm and 8 numbers that's it ok Now go to sheet metal and select here we want to extrude a flange edge. Now choose this end downward direction, choose inner and select this here material outside. 90 mm and choose height 20 mm that's it ok now you can see now select this face select normal select hole wizard we want to add some holes select hole ISO drill size and 7 dia hole and this one height select 60 choose position 1 and 1 is bottom now just press escape button now we will assign some distance 10 mm and from here 8 mm and this also 10 mm 8 mm ok now see the holes going to create ok now the holes is created now we, wa we want to avoid this sharp edge so go to sheet metal select break corner choose 0.2 mm select this edge and this edge ok chamfer Now we will assign some material. Okay, this is steel finish. Now you can select it here, flatten. See the sheet metal part is flat. Now you can process in any machines, unflat. Now save this part SS end plate. This is the part number six. Now let's make the last part. There are two types of SS end plate. So we will do some modification in this uh, SS plate and plate. First edge, edit and select reverse direction. See it's going downward direction. OK. Now choose this whole wizard because it's showing edit feature. Go to position press escape key and uh, we will do some editing here 
so just do it minus the all dimension minus add okay now it is okay now save as now this save so now save this part save as save as part number 6.1 plate 2 okay let's move for the next part now let's make the last part support end support rod choose front plane and draw a one circle a rod diameter keep 6 mm okay and extrude it choose mid plane the length i want to 80 2.5 mm okay chamfer 0.5 mm select both the end okay we selected the steel cast carbon steel but it looks uh, okay machined steel sand blasted iron better machine steel save as part number 7 support rod now let's go for the assembly of air condition heat exchanger now we will start the assembly of air condition heat exchanger select new assembly okay now browse our first part okay plain white uh this one i think second plate browse ss plate and yeah this is the our now rotate this component okay now rotate this component select this component fix now this is floating select float now this component going to float 
it should be like this okay now later we will assign uh, let's browse the another parts pipe uh, better rod support okay now we will make some relation select the rod rod face and inside this hole make relation coincident okay the face of this and the rod face coincident okay now we will insert the next pipe select the pipe and this hole met coincident okay drag inside the pipe okay now we will browse copper pipe C type choose met select this pipe and this edge coincident relation okay select this face and pipe face now assign the distance 3 mm ok now select this pipe face and this face ok now just press control key and drag this pipe assign one more relation clear cancel now choose mat select this inside inside hole not edge make sure the face and the pipe face ok assign one more relation the face and this out outer edge coincident ok now this relation is created ok now select this right plane of assembly and choose the right plane of right plane of uh, this SS pipe end met oh sorry first uh, we have to rotate this float now choose right plane and right plane of met make relation parallel now it is parallel to the right plane ok now we will assign some more relation choose this rod and the face of this circle ok just take it out we will do one thing again just fixed our first component it is very important select this face and this face coincident ok now this is very important mat now you can drag it out now here also select this face and rod face coincident ok now choose now again we will insert here C type pipe ok now select this pipe mat and this edge reverse ok now select this face and the pipe face 
choose coincident and here we will select this age and this age make relation co coincident ok now we will choose circular pattern select this plate and change the material ok now choose linear pattern select this vertical axis distance 25 mm and 8 mm and here we will select the both pipe this C type pipe and this pipe select ok now you can see it here now insert cooling plate select the cooling plate open and change the material choose brushed aluminium cores save cancel ok first rotate this plate ok now we will assign the mat select this outer pipe and this face inside hole ok now the same as here this second pipe and this hole ok now we will assign the gap between these two face keep 5 mm ok now we assign the linear pattern select this edge here keep reverse direction see 25 put 5 and here 55 and select the component just simply select this plate now see it's going to mirror uh, convert ok now save this assembly so this is the heat exchanger for air condition uh, it will take much time because this uh, high calculation uh, we will do one thing just suppress this uh, ok browse the support rod now choose the rod mat and this inside hole ok select this face and rod face coincident ok now check out uh, other side select this face and rod face coincident ok this face and this face ok 
this relation is okay defined now we will see some other relation now here what we will do just hide this part and we want to add some uh, another part here insert component and select pipe 1 now start to rotate the component ok choose met select this pipe and this pipe co-centric ok now select this face coincident ok now insert the another comp pipe 2 just rotate the component choose mat select this pipe and this pipe dia co-centric ok select this face and this face see here coincident ok now direction is up to you uh, where and how you want to so now our assembly is fixed ready just unsuppress this is the cooling fence so this is the our heat exchanger for AC air condition inside pipe and this cooling fins will uh, cool your liquids this is inlet and outlet so I hope you enjoyed please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in SOLIDWORKS and don't forget to share and like our video thanks for watching save us